neuroplasticity. So brain training is only so useful when it comes to boosting your brain power and works best when you go about it in less than conventional manners. But what if you take the underlying physical ability of your brain that enables brain training to work at all and then improve on that? What if you enhance brain plasticity? Ultimately, I believe that intelligence and even athletic performance boil down to two things, adaptability and opportunity. By adaptability, I am referring to the body's ability to change in response to certain stimulus. In the case of the brain, this means plasticity, the formation of new neural connections to correspond with new abilities and memories. By opportunity, I mean exposure or training. Take someone who is a fast learner and then give them an intensive training program and you have a master musician, programmer, linguist, or mathematician. Likewise, if you take someone whose muscles respond well to training and give them the right weightlifting protocol, they will stand a chance of becoming a professional bodybuilder. If the natural adaptability is missing, or the training program is wrong though, the individual will never become world class. There's more to it, of course. I believe that true genius is more a matter of creativity than mastery. And I feel that the right motivation and initial interest in learning also needs to be present. But for the most part, plasticity has a whole lot to answer for. So perhaps in that case, the best way to upgrade our mental powers is to focus on that plasticity. By making our brains more adaptable, we then unlock the potential to learn faster and more efficiently, and thereby become smarter. We'll more quickly adapt to the mental demands of our surroundings, and thus become better at thriving under those conditions. And it's true that with great plasticity comes amazing potential. Just look at individuals like Ben Underwood, who can use a form of sonar for navigation. Ben lost his sight at the age of three, and his brain adapted to the point where he was able to find his way around using clicks from his tongue. Imagine if you didn't have to lose your eyes to gain that kind of plasticity. Potentially, you could learn other incredible skills much faster. Perhaps you could become truly ambidextrous, develop savant-like math skills, gain useful synesthesia, or learn to climb like Giotti Raju, the Monkey King. You can maybe redesign your brain to your liking, just as a bodybuilder redesigns their body. The Ultimate Way to Enhance Plasticity Before I get into the program and some new smaller tricks I've learned for enhancing plasticity, I first want to discuss something pretty big. The reason our brains are so plastic during childhood. Many of us believe that our brains are most plastic when we are children, due to biological differences. It's as though our brains switch off their plasticity once we reach a certain age, and as such, we begin to find learning more difficult. You can't teach an old dog's new tricks and all that. My argument, though, is that it seems more likely this correlation works the other way around. We stop learning, and thus our brains become less plastic. Studies show us that learning any new subject makes our brain more plastic. If you learn a language or study a new programming language, for instance, you'll begin to produce more BDFN, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Now think about what it's like to be a child. You're constantly flooded with new information and forced to learn everything. I'm not just talking about learning English. I'm talking about learning how to balance and walk, learning what a human is, learning that objects make sounds, learning to make use of all your senses in a cohesive manner. And the same thing happens to someone who loses their vision. They're plunged into a different kind of reality where new rules apply, reawakening some of that dormant neuroplasticity. You'll never be as plastic as you were as a child because you'll never be forced to deal with that much new information again. Although I do believe that it would be possible to come close with some kind of virtual reality program, Virtual reality has the ability to subject us to entirely new realities, which could flood our senses with just as much novel stimuli as we experienced as infants. This is why I believe that virtual reality has a very important role for the future of brain training. Lawnmower Man was right. But in the meantime, what else can you do to promote plasticity? You will find that out in the following video.